Hey, how's it going, Nicole and Dr. Olson? My name is Jack here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. We're an online marketing and SEO company here local in the Springs. And I want to do this video analysis basically and, and go over you, uh, basically go over exactly what we do here as an SEO company and um, kind of our methodology and how to be able to help you rank for the various keywords we want to rank for um, once we uh, get our SEO work started. All right, so without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I want to do is actually, I'm going to hop over to this uh, tab right here. Um, uh, this, uh, I basically, I'm using a tool called Arefs. Uh, Arefs allows search marketers like myself to look at the metrics of a website and see kind of where you're currently at as well as where we need to be at uh, to rank you for the various keywords we want to rank for. All right, so what I can see right off the bat, um, there has been SEO work done, and that's why you have about 212 organic traffic to the site. Um, and what we need to do is we need to continue to doing that. We need to continue to do the SEO work and really take it up a notch so you get found for the various keywords you want to uh, rank for uh, quicker. All right, so um, yeah, dental, my family dental office in Colorado Springs, CEO 80906, my dental company. Yeah, that's a pretty optimized title. Um, 80906, yeah, that's okay. I can see why they would do that. Um, yeah, so everything is everything uh, in terms of the SEO. It looks like there has been some done. The reason I can tell that is because of this referring domains and backlinks. This is a huge part of Google's algorithm in basically determining how highly you rank for the keywords you want to rank for, as well as how quickly you get there. Um, because this is a very uh, has a heavy influence in that factor. The reason being is basically. Uh, it, it shows Google how trustworthy and how authoritative your website is. So in case you didn't know what a referring domain or backlink is, it's basically any website out there on the internet that links back to your website via hyperlink. So what I mean by that is uh, if, for example, there's a blog out there that's called uh, a dentalblog.com, and they mention you in a new blog post, and they say, hey, if you're looking for the best dental company in Colorado Springs or dentist dentist office in Colorado Springs, check out mydentalcompany.com. And then that link would be, and if someone clicked on that link, it would direct them to your site. And so what happens is Google has a ton of like website crawlers that crawl through the hundreds of millions of websites that are out there on the internet, and they look for these links. And what they do is every time another website links back to your website, you get credit for that. Um, the reason being is basically it shows Google that you're the kind of website that other websites like to talk about. You're the kind of website that other websites are like, hey, go check out this website. Hey, click on this link. And so it's like a trustworthy factor. And that's why in Google's eyes, it's a very integral part of its algorithm currently. And that's what we need to make sure that we need a lot more of these websites talking about, about your website. And so right now, the 45 referring domains basically means there's 45 websites out there that are linking back about 229 times to your website. And so... Um, we just need to bump up that level and we want to get to about 100 to 300 referring domains on about 1,000 or 3,000 backlinks of quality uh, websites talking about your site and that's really going to show Google that um, you deserve to be uh, ahead of your competitors for the keywords you want to uh, rank for. All right. Now there's a bunch of other things that are involved with SEO, but I just want to tackle um, the most relevant things that I could find. And without making this web uh, video analysis too long for you, all right? So the next thing I want to do is actually hop over to this organic keywords tab. This allows us to look at where you're actually currently ranking for, for the various keywords um, uh, out there that people are actually typing into Google um, on their smartphones, their laptops, um, and that kind of stuff, as well as some of the metric behind those keywords. So looks like my dental company, number one spot, fantastic job there. Obviously, that is your brand name, and you absolutely want to rank for that. Um, Cheyenne Mountain Dentist looks like you're on the 11th spot for that keyword, so that's definitely a keyword that we want to uh, capture, and we want to make sure we continue to do the work so that you get ranked higher for those keywords. Um, Cheyenne Mountain Dentistry, 14th spot. Sedation Dentistry, 16th spot. Uh, affordable Dentures, Colorado Springs, 38th spot. So you're actually getting ranked for a lot. Dental Office, Colorado Springs, yeah, 300. You're getting ranked for a lot of these keywords. The issue is that you're just not hang, hovering on the first page or as close to the first page as possible. Um, this, this one basically means that you are on the uh, bottom or the top of the fourth fourth page. And just because of how the nature of uh, um, uh, user behavior and search experience, um, people rarely go past the first page, and especially not all the way down to the fourth page. And so that's why we need to continue to do our SEO and make sure that you are ranking higher and uh, on the first page for all these various keywords because that's when you're going to get a huge influx of traffic because that's how you're going to be found front and center 
where the Kyojin one rank for. And so, I mean, you're there. This is good news. This is good and bad news because bad news because you're not on the first page, obviously. But the good news is that you're already being found for these keywords. But you're not like on the 10th page. You're on the third, fourth page, which means that we just need to continue to do our SEO work to get you to that first page as soon as possible. All right. And so, um, uh, just to kind of toot my own horn a little bit, um, we're very good at what we do. Um, just because of the dichotomy of our, our relationship between us as online marketers and our clients, uh, we understand that um, we have to bring in results for you or else it doesn't make sense for you to spend those marketing dollars uh, with us. And so if we weren't able to produce results for our clients, then we wouldn't be in business. And the fact that we are uh, growing and we're thriving and we have a lot of um, um, businesses, current clients that are referring business over to us just kind of is a testament to um, the work that we do and the results that we've been able to provide for our clients and that we'd be able to do for you as well. And so we're very confident in what we can do for you because uh, um, we have experience in this niche. We have experience in the local area in Colorado Springs. We have a lot of push and pull and, and influence in this area. And we can definitely help your site get ranked higher and get you even more business than you're at right now and being found online. All right. Um, last thing I want to do real quick is hop over to your site and see what I can find. I actually really like the site. Um, I personally think that we could, we should have an image of you, Dr. Olson. I know you have the meet the doctor page, but I would like to have something. Um, I think this looks clean. So, and this is actually your, your office. So this would be good, but maybe right after here, top dentist in Colorado Springs, like right here, you could have an image and then like a read more about like something and then it would, it would take them to this meet the doctor page, but like this image of you would be great. Um, this contact form is very important for converting the people that actually visit your website into actually inquiries and then the click to call number. So there has all the elements on there. Um, and uh, I think it's just it's a matter of just kind of uh, working on a couple of things to make sure that it has all the other elements that I could see. Um, I don't want to spend too much uh, time on this video analysis because I do um, value your time. So I'll wrap it up here. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video or would uh, be interested in, in, in going over kind of how we'd be able to help you. I'm more than available. I'll leave my phone number at the bottom of the email as well as uh, we can chat by email as well if you're if you want to do it that way or meet in person since we're right here in the Springs. So whatever works, uh, whatever floats your boat, you could absolutely do that. And um, yeah, we'd love to talk to you further. Uh, very confident we'll be able to do and being able to bring you more uh, results online. Okay. All right. Thank you.